Dear friends, the power of God's love is so great. He speaks to us. He reveals so much to us. And if we take our lives to Him, we can hear Him. We can hear His voice. John 10.27, Jesus tells us, My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. So the Lord knows us. And He looks into our heart and today the beautiful revelation to us is this from prophet jeremiah in chapter 29 verse 13 if you seek me with all your heart i will let you find me and so the lord is de desiring that we hear him out that we listen to what he has to tell us today if you hear his voice harden not your heart the scripture also reminds us so to hear God's voice is an awesome and glorious experience. It satisfies the soul. We need to train our minds and our hearts to know that His voice is what we are hearing and not our own voices. It comes through faith. We see in the Gospel of Luke in chapter 10 verses 38 to 42, now as they went on their way, he entered a village and a woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. And Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion which shall not be taken away from her. So Jesus enters Martha and Mary's house on an invitation uh, by Martha. So Jesus, as the moment he enters, Martha is so excited she's so excited the Lord has come to the house and she's busy preparing a lot to please the Lord. So she goes out of her way to do the right things so that the Lord is pleased with this visit to their house. But at the moment that the Lord enters their house, we can see Mary sits at the feet of Jesus listening to him. So we learn a lot of things from this passage, we see a humility, a desire, and an eagerness to learn from the Lord. So the scripture says, she sat at the feet of the Lord listening to his teaching. So the Lord was teaching. So this was the very need of the Lord to teach. So wherever he went, he taught. And people were expected to listen. So that was the whole idea of his visitation also to that home, to tell them so many things. And so Mary chose the best part of it, to listen. Jesus was not bothered about the food or what they would serve him, no. His food was to do the will of the Father. And so she, she was so disturbed, Martha was so disturbed because Mary was idle, idling her time with the Lord and not helping her. So a complaint. And so Jesus says, Mary has chosen the better portion. So the better portion of our life is when we spend time listening to the Lord. 
when we take time to read the scripture and the more we read the scripture we become familiar with god's voice we begin to hear what god has to tell us and nothing can se separate us from the power of his love for god is speaking to us and we are able to hear it saint ignatius loyola tells us there are three movements in us one is from within and there are other two movements which is external one comes from god and one comes from the evil or the world around us so there are three voices we have to deal with and how do we distinguish it is the lord speaking to us so we need to know what are our voices what are the voices of our fears what are, what are the voices of our anxieties our worries our concerns so there are so many voices today emerging from the depths of our heart for example i would like to tell you how i first was trained to hear god's voice after my conversion experience in a retreat in 1993 i used to spend time reading the bible and something beautiful happened as i was reading the bible i would get in faith as i opened the bible and read i would get the reading of the next days the mass reading and so somehow that would happen and i thought it was just a coincidence but it would happen all the time so i didn't need a missal i knew this is going to be the reading the next day so that was god's gift in a way for me and so i was began to read the bible and today i'm reading it for the ninth time going to the tens and so so i spent a lot of time uh reading what the scripture has to tell me it makes god's voice familiar to us it becomes an awesome experience and so one day i was brushing my teeth to go for the mass on sunday and uh, my sister my younger sister and me are the ones who go and my younger sister gets the reading she gets the paper to read and uh, as i was brushing my teeth i heard this faint it was not a voice it is a thought coming to me today you will read in church so i thought to myself it cannot be me uh, because i don't like reading in church i don't like to go up on that altar and also uh, face the parishioners that was my last uh, desire and so i thought is not me and then i thought could be god is injecting these thoughts into my mind so god doesn't speak to us like a friend would speak to us it comes from the heart it comes in the form of a thought and so dear friends as i was brushing and i brushed this thought off my mind i said it must be my imagination as i was brushing again i heard this thought came up to me saying today you will read so we went to church and as we were entering the church as usual my sister got the paper to read and she turned back and she walked towards me she gave me the paper and told me today you will read and this these are the same words that came in my thought and i knew now god is speaking and confirming it through my sister and it took me a lot of struggle uh, it took me a lot of effort to uh, it was a big struggle it took me a lot of effort to go up there on the altar and read but i felt a lot of joy in my heart from that moment i began to listen to these thoughts and it was a confirmation that it was the voice of the lord today if you ask some people uh, what are you doing on the weekend and they will say uh, i must ask the lord so how do we ask the lord we need to set our entire focus on what the lord is telling us even through a suffering even through a crisis even through a problem god is telling us something that's when he gets our attention so so we can see in mark chapter 9 verse 7 a cloud overshadowed them and a voice came out of the cloud this is my beloved son listen to him so the whole reason of jesus coming into this world is not only to destroy the works of the devil 1 john 3 8 but to teach that those who have ears to listen so the book of revelation tells us in chapter 2 and chapter 3 and chapter 13 eight times those who have ears listen 
So the Lord is speaking to us and how are we listening to him is very important. In the Gospel of John in chapter 16 verses 13 to 14, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. So the Lord is telling us the Holy Spirit who is in us will also reveal the power of God's voice, is, is, is love. And we hear him today through the power of his Spirit given to us in baptism. We see the beautiful example of uh, Daniel. From the book of Daniel, we see in chapter 13, verses 45 to 51, as Susanna was being accused and she was being led uh, to her death, we could see that she was crying out to God and she's saying, Lord, uh, you know I am innocent. And she was openly speaking to the Lord. And the Lord was desperate to intervene into the situation. And at this time, we read here in verse 45 onwards, chapter 13 of Daniel. And as she was led away to be put to death, God aroused the Holy Spirit of a young lad named Daniel. And he cried with a loud voice, I am innocent of the blood of this woman. All the people turned to him and said, What is this that you have said? So, Dear friends, we could hear uh, the, the Lord speaking through Daniel at this time. So Daniel, st uh, Daniel, who used to pray three times a day and he was inclined to what God had to tell him, was a great prophet in his time. We could see God's voice was heard as it was heard, as Israel heard the voice of God through the prophet Samuel. For a long time they had not heard God. But through Samuel, this word came, this word uh, came to the all of Israel. So we could see Daniel, when he spoke, the power of God's word came strongly to the people. And they said, what did you say? And whatever Daniel had to tell them, they did. He was a respected man. Only because of his connection with God, only because of his love for God. So basically it's a love for God. In Romans chapter 10 verses 17 onwards we read, so faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes from the preaching of Christ. And so we, we read here, but I ask, have they not heard? St. Paul says, indeed they have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. Again I ask, did Israel not understand First Moses says, I will make you a jealous, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation. With a foolish nation, I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But of Israel, he says, all day long I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. Let me ask the Lord whether I should go out. So we can see the power of even asking the Lord whether we should go out and uh, what we should do, the Lord will tell us so beautifully. So friends, as we look into the scripture today, God's voice is heard. The more time we spend listening to him, reading the scripture, we find the power of God is able to ch transform and change everything for our good. We see in the book of Jeremiah in chapter 29, verse 13, God says, I, in verse 11, he says, I know the plans I have for you, not for your destruction, but for your welfare. So if God has a plan for us and we are aware of that plan, then God will also tell us that plan. In the book of Amos, in chapter 3, verse 7, we read, God will never do anything without first revealing it through his holy servants. 
So God will train us to hear His voice. There will come a time when, as we listen, we will hear God telling us, and we know it is God by experience. When I was singing in a rock band and I received this conversion experience in my retreat here in the Divine Retreat Center, and as we were flying out to do one of our shows, I was asking the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? And uh, what do you want to, me to do with my life? What is your plans, Lord? And uh, should I continue to sing with this group? Because the counselor had told me, God will tell you what to do. And so I was asking the Lord, and I heard the same thought, the way this thought would come to me. I heard this thought telling me, tell them, this is going to be our last show. So dear friends, I got the courage and the joy and I told them, this is my last show on the stage. And that was my last show. I never went back to sing. I knew this was my joy to serve the Lord. And so God is speaking. He's speaking to our hearts. He's speaking to our minds. He's speaking to our lives. All that we need to do is just listen. We hear so many voices, but God's voice will stand out as we train ourselves to hear Him. Lord Jesus, we ask you today to speak to us and give us the power to understand and receive the clear, Lord, revelation that comes from you at every moment of our life as we turn to you. We ask you, Lord, for this grace and this blessing to hear you, to hear your voice and follow you as your sheep. Amen.